Good morning, cyber friends. It's the Mitty Man coming back at you from Walker's Music with another word. Word for the day. The word is peace. The word is peace this morning. I want to say to all the cyber friends, peace. And the only way you're going to have peace, people, you got to know in whom you believe. I want to give God the glory for life, health, and strength. We want to give Him all the praise. Cause like I can say, if it was not for him, where would we be? I want to give a shout out to the YouTube friends, family, log talk, and time harvest game. You know who you are. I sit before you this morning in all because of the fact that as I sit and I think about how good God is to us. Now, I don't know about you, but God has been good to you too. If you are looking at this video this morning, that, that's a sign that God has been good to you. He woke you up. I want to say that uh, even though sometimes on our journey, people, we uh, we don't understand all the things that happen. In other words, Jesus said in this world, in this life, we would have what? Trials and tribulation. Those that would live godly in Christ Jesus himself suffer trial, tribulation, and persecution. But he said, be of good cheer, because he's overcome the world. And because he overcame, we will also. But we must go through. Um, I don't, I wish I could tell you that once you got your act together in, in your journey, and you're letting the Holy Spirit be your guide, that everything will go smooth. But I'm here to tell you that it's not going to go smooth. Believe me, it's going to go way far from being smooth. Oh yeah, you will have good days, but there are going to be many days when you're not going to understand. But be of good cheer. Your peace is Christ. Christ is our peace. So we can rest assured that a lot of times you be doing the best you can as you feel. And you, 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 are, you mean well. People take it wrong. Um, some people uh, will never let you down on something that you have done. And we all got a pass. We all have one. Um, but nevertheless, some people will never let you live it down. But there's one thing about God. He forgets your past. God does not hold your past against you. And matter of fact, Jesus came into this world not to condemn the world, but that the world would be saved through him. You see, this is what I don't understand. When we, as Christians, we as children of God, we should understand this here. And especially when we are being a witness to the world of the of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Jesus did not come to condemn. So we neither should we condemn. We we must be very careful when we're dealing with our sisters and our brothers, and we're trying to lead them to the Lord, not away from Him. And the way some of us, um, the way the attitude we take sometimes, it, it may it, it probably will make. I mean, it'll make uh, the people wonder what side are we really on? You know. But Jesus came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. And he did not come to condemn the world, people. He came that the world might be saved through him. Now, first of all, we must realize that we are not Christ. We can do nothing. The only thing we can do is be a witness. And I didn't say go around witnessing. I said be a witness. That's what he wants us to do. And as the Holy Spirit be your guide. He will lead you into all truth. Just like he did Philip. He led him to the Samaritan. The Holy Spirit will lead us where we need to be. And believe it or not, sometimes you're going to find yourself in situations sometimes, in circumstances that you don't believe sometimes that the Lord got you there. But you stay there until you hear from the Lord. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. In other words, in every mouth to come up against you in judgment shall can be condemned. That's the word of God, people. That's Isaiah 54. And we don't have to worry about, we don't, I mean, you know, it's one thing, and I think I've done a video about this before. We don't have to worry about schemes that people put up. People scheme against you all the time. You just don't know about it sometimes. But guess what? Christ know about it. God know about it. The Holy Spirit is our guide. He, we do not have to worry about when people scheme against you and make plots against you. Don't worry about it. Don't even try to found them. The idea of trying to thin and prove anything, just make certain that you are doing what thus saith the Lord, and you will be fine. 
In other words, Daniel was plotted against. Daniel was even put in the lion's den. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were plotted against. They were put in a fiery furnace. And many, many others, we can go on and on and say throughout the whole Bible, the Bible heroes that suffered for their faith. But they came out victorious in the end. Some of them did not receive the promise. Abraham, he had a son. He saw the son, but he did not really see the promise of what was to come, which was Jesus Christ. He never did see the promise, and a lot more of them. They are in the Hall of Fame, the faith fame in Hebrews 11 and 1. In Hebrews 11, in that great Hall of Faith chapter, a lot of those patriots, they died before they even saw the promise. But they did one thing, which all of us have, should have in common. We should stand. In other words, when you know what God has told you, stand. Regardless to what everybody else say, they didn't give you the calling. Neither did they tell you to do anything. But if you know that you know that you know that God has told you what to do, you do it in spite of what people say. Because remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue and every mouth that come against you in judgment shall what? Be condemned. So don't worry about it. Just do what thus says the Lord. This is man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God's not in it, get out of it because it's going to come to nothing anyway. And remember, Mary man will be back on Tuesday night with the Bible study if the Lord says so. If it be his will, we will be back with the Bible study. That Bible study will go on regardless of what, as long as I'm alive. And Jesus tells me to continue to do it. The Bible study will go on. So when, when we are allowed to, if the net is on and my PC is working, we will have a Bible study. That being said, this many man saying peace. Have a great day. If you go to the worship service today, make certain that you hear from God. Not man. But God, this middle man saying peace, goodbye.